Like I'd be looking, sometimes I'd just be like sitting like, wow, some people are experiencing life and they're not high. And <laughs> like, that's, really? that's crazy. Let me have your attention for a minute. This is something for the ladies, all the ladies, ladies of all ethnicities, ladies of different styles and flavors. But these ladies come together for one reason and one reason only. Yeah, one nation under the flower. That magical flower. The one we love. You know who it is. And you know where I'm at. I'm chilling with the queens of the Stone Age. <laughs> I think we should get started with some mango and CBD. How does that sound? Yeah. Yeah. The reason I think we should start with some mangoes is actually mangoes contain terpenes. Myrcene, actually. Ooh, this is heavy. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and cannabis also contains terpenes. It's res responsible for the flavor, actually, of the cannabis. And so if you eat a high terpene food before you use cannabis, it extends the euphoric feeling of the high. So I want your high to last extra long to, to so stay for this. Yeah. So feel free to take a slice and pass it. It's kind of heavy, though. Yeah. Um, I think CBD will be a good place to start because it, it's the non-psychoactive cannabinoid. So, you know, there's THC, which gives you the high, but CBD just keeps you chill and relaxed. And I feel like we should, you know, we're talking about health, so we should talk about the idea that you actually don't even need to get high to use cannabis and experience the benefits. I was saying earlier, my relationship with cannabis has changed, like, immensely from the time I was 16 until I was now. Um, I have celiac, which is an autoimmune deficiency when your body attacks itself when it has gluten or any mm. proteins that are similar to gluten. So my organs at all times are like very inflamed. My life, I was like always tired. I'm Michelle Zauzig. I am from Fairfax, Virginia. I feel this innate um, responsibility to kind of change the way that people think about marijuana when it comes to medical purposes and uh, outside of the world of like getting really stoned when you're 16 I think it's kind of taken a new relationship so I feel like I need it as much as it needs me right now I've been to like 11 doctors I think in the past nine months and basically the prognosis is always the same they have no idea what's wrong with me they give me some kind of like corticosteroid and an antibiotic, yeah. which I refuse to take. And so CBD is something that's really effective for me because it's calmed me down, it's calmed my skin down, and it's kind of just like that comfort food almost. Yeah, it's so powerful. I mean, it's really about self-medicating. It's like listening to your body and sometimes even going against doctors to really fight mm -hmm. for your health. Why do you smoke weed every day? Um, I love weed. <laughs> I love weed. I love I love smoking weed and I love getting high and I love doing stuff when I'm high. Hi. I'm Kelly Moon. Um, I'm from Sacramento, California, but I live in Los Angeles. I am a freelance model. I'm an Instagram influencer, a brand rep, and I'm a stoner. Um, my roommate and I, we love like hula hooping in the backyard <laughs> and naked. Yeah. <laughs> we always have our ankle weights on. And like yeah. full-blown smoking joints. As we're hula hooping. Yeah. <laughs> there are basic things we do know. We know it's an anti-inflammatory. We know it contains high levels of antioxidants. And it's an anti-anxiety. Has it helped with anyone's anxiety? Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? And, uh, so much. I'm an anxious <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I'm an anxious bitch. Yeah, yeah, know your exactly. strength. You if I wasn't smoking weed like every single day, I'd probably have to take Xanax. Oh, yeah. full yeah. It's blown. Yeah. Which, by the way, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. so. Xanax is so gnarly. Xanax is so gnarly. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. It's like so kidney. Bad. But that's what I'm like saying. Like, why is that okay oh for everybody to have like bottles of Xanax in their? Purses, that's but like if somebody understand. has like a week, yeah. Yeah. wait a second, this is what she's working on. Yeah, so yeah. that's a, uh, exactly what my company Mondo is about. So I'm looking to um, have really easy access microdosing, and so people can really figure out what's an appropriate dose um, to really take Xanax out of the market. Hi, I'm Emily O'Brien. I'm from Napa Valley. I own Mondo, it's a cannabis company focusing on microdosing. With my company, I have figured out a way to create a powder that you can mix into food and drinks for really ease of use. I mean, we, all, all of us raised our hands when yeah. we said, yes, we, we're affected by anxiety. And so Sad. this is a way for people to really figure out like what's appropriate for that mother. It's gonna be, you know, CBD, but everything on kind of a smaller scale. And then when we get to our nice relaxation, hang out, then it's like, yes, that, pass all the joints. So yeah. things like yeah. that. <laughs> it's really cool that you're doing that. Oh, yeah, really thank cool. you. Because
because that is so needed. Right, right, because yeah. pain pills and all that it kills the lining of your stomach. It's just awful yeah. to have yeah. that. Yeah. Well, and you're not you're not in control of it. You have no control of the effects. You have no control of the the doses. A lot of times, if you try to get off of medications like that, there are side effects. It's like it's a it's a crazy thing that they've done that we've become so dependent on that, mm -hmm. and that we've kind of taken like our uh, sense of resourcefulness out of our hands and given it to somebody yeah. else who doesn't care about care us. About us. Yeah. What they care about is making money, money off of us being yeah. sick. What is really amazing about this is that we have the opportunity to shift the conversation using our personal narratives as powerful platforms that show that it really isn't a drug, it's a medicine. My name's Jessica Asoff. I'm from Marin County, California, and I'm the founder of Cannabis Feminist. Cannabis is still a Schedule I drug with no perceived medicinal benefits, yet I've been self-medicating for the past 10 years with cannabis. Even for people that consider cannabis, you know, a casual drug, it's still a medicine because it's making you feel good in some way. Well, I had anxiety from PTSD, and for a long time, I just couldn't even leave bed in the morning. It's just like, it's such a struggle, it's such a fight, and I couldn't eat, I couldn't keep anything down, so I started smoking more medical marijuana, and I was able to eat, I was going hiking. It really changed my life, honestly. It made me more talkative, I was smoking sativas because um, I also had a little bit of social anxiety, so. What do you say to people that still think that it doesn't have any medicinal benefits? I think that they should try it. <laughs> yeah. Do you say to people that need it? I told my parents that I smoke weed and they've seen me when I've had the worst anxiety. And my mom sees me now and she's like, it really did help you. Mm -hmm. So it's good that I can open the minds of yeah. people that close to me. A lot of people are just stuck in the cannabis closet exactly. though. I yeah. feel like there needs to be more opportunities for women to come the out of the closet, closet and kind of shout from the rooftops about how it's helped us because then more people mm -hmm. will be open to it. So. Especially menstruation. Yeah, that's a topic. Oh my yeah. God. That's the topic. biggest. That's yeah. yeah. a topic. I know. Does anyone have their period right now? I do. And <laughs> cannabis is helping so much. So yeah, oh. it does. yeah, like I'll rub like an oil or a butter on my actual stomach, and I do get massive migraines. Yeah, it can on your that. temples, yeah. or I, I mean, the actual that. cannabis. It just it's known to help with pain relief, and so this is one aspect. It's really real for women because it's once a month, so we mm -hmm. know yeah. the effects and we know how yeah. to self medicate. It's also a mood stabilizer. Yeah. I was about. Yeah. I was you about. Know, you're to not going like, to sit there. I'm I'm like, a, I can be a really raging asshole. My name is Mia Carucci. I'm from Miami. Uh, I am in LA to model and DJ, which sounds so dumb to me. I'm so sorry. You know, as a kid, my mom was like, it's, it's for like terrible people. And then now we like do edibles together and it's just been like really amazing. And I don't know, it's been good for like my stress and anxiety. It's been life changing. Like you, I'm especially like such a fucking jerk when I'm like PMSing, and then I'm like, I need to like take a moment, yeah. get my life together, and then yeah. I'm a sweetie pie, yeah. and then like people are like, oh okay, like I'm not, you didn't make me cry today, thank you <laughs> so much. I'm like, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. It, just, it makes it more real. I feel like it could be used really um, efficiently, like in therapy for people who have trouble accessing their emotions yeah. or like facing certain things or achieving a certain headspace. Cause I know yeah. for me, even though like I really love to smoke weed, like I love to take weed in every way, shape and form just because I love being high, but I also like could not live without the um, medical benefits that yeah. I like gain. Like exactly. Hey there, I'm Janice Griffith. I'm from New York, but I live in LA now and I make pornography among other things. Cannabis has really opened my eyes and not only helped me specifically in my problems, but just knowing that I can achieve a mindset or like a place of being. I wonder oh, if there's any like therapy places where the person actually smokes with you and you have therapy that way. Yeah. Oh. That I mean, don't we do that? that? I yeah. Don't we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Are we doing that? Isn't this it? Yeah. Is that the yeah. I want to be that kind of doctor. I know. Right? <laughs> The mindset that I've been able to reach just mm, from smoking, girl. even if I'm not like there or right oh, then, I'm like, I know that exists. I know that I have like the ability to feel calmness <laughs> yes, yeah. because I've been there. Yeah. So like yeah. even just having that as a point yeah. of reference to like go back to in a time of crisis is so like comforting. It's really powerful. You know how to take care of yourself. Yeah. You know, you can listen to your body and respond. 
Like, it's fun for me to experience things while high, because it's just like I see it differently than I would if I was sober, like. You can zoom in and then zoom out, oh, and then zoom back in, yeah. But I don't like to zoom out. I always like to stay zoomed and I stay high. My name is Tierra Thomas, and I'm a singer from Indianapolis, Indiana. One word that I think about when I think about cannabis is enlightened. It's like the limitless pill, except I can't like play piano and just start speaking different languages and stuff. But I feel like everything is so magnified, you know, and it's just like a good experience to just experience life all high. It's so nice to be around people who smoke weed because so joint with good company. Yes, yes. nothing. Yes. Better. There's nothing, nothing better. better. And because of the stigma, because of the legality, we choose to do it. So that opting in is so powerful that yeah, it lot. shows that we're really doing it for the right reasons. It's because it feels good, which is why I say it's always medicinal, even if it's not medical marijuana. Well, I first started smoking weed because of sleep because I had extreme insomnia. I was staying up till 6 a.m. every morning. But then I started to explore it more, and honestly, it's helped me feel more confident. It's helped me feel better about myself because I have really bad social anxiety. And I think I have to put on a show a lot of times because I am a model. Hi, my name's, oh, wait, are we ready? Sorry, I fucked it up. <laughs> Hi, my name's Dana Patterson. I am a body positive activist and a model. And some things that I think about when I think about cannabis are happiness and comfort because cannabis is really how I found my ability to quell my anxiety and my insomnia. So it, it makes me feel happy and full of self-love and honestly that's my true connection with it is that it's really helped me become who I am today and really be able to be myself. Because it is hard as a woman to be any, if you're not a size zero, it's yeah. like, it's really intense. And I oh, think yeah. that when you came into my house and you were in that bikini and you were standing so, I was like, damn, she is hot. <laughs> but, like, but you have to feel that. Yeah. And if you don't yeah. feel that, yeah. like, because I've been walking around and not, because I, I used to do Playboy, right? So yeah. I'm not that size anymore. Yeah. And I was feeling really uncomfortable yeah. and whatever, but seeing you, really, I was like, oh yeah, I can be beautiful in my own oh, skin. Yeah. Duh, I forgot, you know? Because I think a lot of times, especially with social media, you find yourself comparing a lot to a lot of retouched images, photoshopped images. The reality is being beautiful and being confident is really about how you feel about yourself and understanding that your worth is not your body. Because I feel like there's always a wall up with people, especially where we all live. And I think a lot of times, like, sitting around in a circle like this and smoking just allows everyone to lift their walls. Yeah. And just be with like-minded people and be able to feel like they can be open and love each other and love themselves and there's no judgment. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Every girl should feel like they are good enough, yes. Yeah. And hopefully all of our stories can inspire other people to explore the medicinal benefits of the plant yeah. because yeah. there are so many it's almost like it seems ridiculous when you're like oh anxiety and pain and this and that it seems like but it's true it's, it's choose it's plants not pills yes yes, yes. yes. it's so wonderful to come you. you got it's all so the cool. slogans <laughs> yeah. trying. if anyone wants a sprinkle we can sprinkle you with emily's yeah. powder yeah. i've been sprinkled yeah. 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 you're like an advertising human right now <laughs>